graphic extras. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use shape with a gradient stroke and create unusual color effects, basically combining with smart objects and smart filters and gradients and blending modes. Quite a combination of different things, but I'm just going to go through this. Now, here's a shape I've already pre-created, and I'm just going to apply a slight blurring, actually. I'm just going to feather that slightly. Just don't like the totally sharp shape, so I'm just going to go slight blurring, and I'm going to go to Layer, Smart Object. Now, once that's been converted to Smart Object, you can actually distort it and change scale, etc. And as it's a vector design, you can actually create it to any size. That's the key thing. Now, I'm just going to apply a filter. The first filter I'm going to apply is in Distort, and it's going to be Wave. And I'm just going to create a sort of like a, a comet trail sort of effect, just a basically a very, very extreme tense. Click OK. And there you have this comet trail that sort of flies off up there. OK, next thing to do, I'm just going to duplicate the layer. So duplicate layer, click OK. And of course, at this moment, it's actually not very exciting. It's two layers on top of each other. Well, I'm actually just going to go now to the blending mode, normal, and I'm just going to set that to difference and it goes to black, which is not so not much difference between the two. And I'm just going to drag that over just like now. When you actually notice when you actually drag these smart objects over, you notice you suddenly think, hang on, it's just cut off. Well, that doesn't look very very useful. Right, you can actually resize them very quickly, and I'm just going to just quickly resize it. Unfortunately, it's not a particular preview. But it, once you've actually done that, it reapplies the effect very quick. Well, hopefully, on the, when I'm running a tutorial, it's always a bit slower than when you're just doing it normally. So, uh, so there you have it. You've actually got two now comet trails. You've got a sort of surrounding effect, and again, you can still move this around. You've got a difference. Just tweak, and again, you still got the same problem. But you can always resize again, like just slightly move it over, make it a bit bigger, just a slight tweak. And there you have it again. Right, of course, you don't have to go with difference. You can always go with divide or overlay, etc. But I'm just going to go for difference. And I can actually now, of course, apply another one. So I can actually duplicate the layer and create unusual color effects again. So as it's still a smart object, I can apply more and more smart filters. Don't have to continue. Obviously, I can even modify this actual comet trail. I can just basically go over here, change the wave setting here. But I'm actually going to go over to now Camera Raw Filter. There's one thing in Photoshop is that you can't change the colour particularly easily of a smart object. If you go over here, Image, Adjustments, there's no option. So you can just go over here, Camera Raw Filter, there's a quick way around that. And again, like I say, it's not the quickest ones to bring up in a tutorial, but I'm just going to so you can just modify the temperature, so you can set various color RGB. I'm just going to go for say the green, modify the green, make it more green. Click OK, and that will apply that. And of course, it's in different modes, so you can actually see that. Anyway, I hope you found this quick tutorial.